on. Hurry up. Hurry up. <laughs> we got ready just in time. <laughs> You're probably like, wait, were they just putting that in there? Yes. <laughs> you're thinking, Craig, isn't your studio lying fallow all day until you walk in a couple of minutes before and start going live to the nation? No. <laughs> During the day, this building is a laundromat. <laughs> and what happens is, at the last dryer runs out at the end of the day and all the crystal meth addicts go outside. <laughs> I'm kidding. The crystal meth addicts are the studio audience, actually. Why are you applauding that? <laughs> You've got to ask yourself. Now, I'm a bit worried about this mob tonight because I think I called them crystal meth addicts and they went, yeah! <laughs> but I can tell they aren't because look at their fabulous teeth. Now, that's... That's how you know. I tell you what, they want to do PCA, PC, PSA, PC, PSA, PSA, that's the public service, the PSA, yeah. The PSA is to stop people taking crystal meth. They should show people, people's teeth that take crystal meth. And you take crystal meth for a couple of weeks, you look like a cockney. <laughs> all right, mate, aye, aye, all right. I didn't know you were a cockney. Oh, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm from North Dakota. Really? Yes, I'm from North Dakota, but so tragically I got involved in crystal meth. Now I spend my day cleaning chimneys. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. I know what you're thinking. No, stop. I know what you're thinking. People are going to be outraged by this comparison. I'll be here getting a lot of letters from crystal meth addicts. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, you know, I calls it as I see it, because blah, blah, blah. <laughs> oh, do you know what I got today? Yeah, I know we're out of time, I don't care. I, uh, you know what I got today? I got the, my book, I, I wrote this book and it's coming out and I, they gave me a copy of it. And you know, the, the actual, the one that they're gonna, not the actual one that they're gonna hope to sell. <laughs> They only printed one. <laughs> but uh, they give me the and the, the, it's called American on Purpose. This book and it's by Harper Collins. They're a big, they're a big publisher. Harper Collins. They got a huge publishing house, right? By Harper Collins. They forgot to put my acknowledgments in the book. <laughs> <laughs> and when they told me about it, I was like, "So you're Harper Collins?" And they said, "Yes." And I said, "But you're also jerks, then, aren't you?" <laughs> and they said, "Yes." <laughs> We are jerks. How can we make it up to you? And I said, financially. <laughs> we'll be right back. Just hastening your own disappointment. <laughs> what 
you should have done is you'd have kept your expectations low. That's the key. That's the key to enjoying the show. Start with a negative attitude. If you come in here all, oh, hooray, then you're going to be, wait a minute. This is awful. I tried to warn you. It's a great day for America, everybody. Yes, sir. <laughs> all right, all right. Look, look. Look, look. If you do that every time I mention the word America, we'll never get through this. <laughs> it's a very big news over at the ABC. You know the ABC, the network? You know, the, well, you know. <laughs> they, they used to have the Drew Carey show on ABC. Good times for ABC. <laughs> now they got nothing. <laughs> Me and Drew are here, living the dream. <laughs> Living the dream for a smaller paycheck. <laughs> hey, you know that um, uh, Diane Sawyer is uh, replacing Charlie Gibson at the ABC World News Tonight? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sexy curves, beautiful eyes. I'm going to miss Charlie Gibson. <laughs> so long, Charlie. Hello, Diane. D did you watch the America's Got Talent earlier tonight? I did. I watched it. We, we watch it here and then I do the show because we're live. And so... <laughs> I watched <laughs> Oh, yeah, I know. Every other late night show is live. <laughs> but on the America's Got Talent show, Miss Piggy and, and David Hasselhoff performed a duet together. I know. I was like, what? I can't believe a big star like that would sing with a pig. I suppose these Muppets will work with anybody, but it's amazing to me. That's a joke. Wait a minute, Craig. Did you make fun of David Hasselhoff? Certainly not. <laughs> Do you know there's a very big brouhaha going on right now in Russia? You know Russia? You know what I'm talking about, Russia? You know the place where everybody wears the fur hats, drinks the vodka? Do we have a, do we have a map of Russia? There you are. There's Russia there. there you got the Sea of Bora there. And, uh, New Jersey. And there's Narnia down there. It's all there. That's our first map in the HD. It looks good, doesn't it? The HD. It's never. The Sea of Borat has never been so clear. It, you know, Russia's a great place to get the mail order brides. I ordered one. I was very disappointed when a woman showed up at the door. Because I understand, misunderstood what they meant by mail, really. <laughs> I understand. It's late at night. You're not going to get it right away. You're, you're going to need time. Wait, wait, was that a joke? Well, uh, no, but he's finished talking. Maybe we should just laugh. <laughs> anyway, the big brouhaha in Russia. Here's what the Russians are all cock a hoop about. Uh, or as they say, cock a hoop ski. There's a man in Russia. There's a man in Russia who's taking a newspaper to court. He's taking a Russian newspaper to court because he says that they're saying they're printing bad things about his grandfather. His grandfather was a man by the name of Joseph Stalin. <laughs> what kind of a cheap rag would, would dare to say bad things about beloved old Uncle Joe Stalin? I mean, come on! If you don't know uh, Joseph Stalin, he, he ruled the Soviet Union for 30 years. Let's just say he was a bit of a bad dude. <laughs> a, a, a bad dude in a kind of can't-be-tamed Justin Timberlake sort of a way? No. <laughs> Stalin was even badder than Justin. What? Yeah! So bad. During World War II, he signed a non-aggression pact with the Nazis. He wiped out millions of his own people, and he had a very unpleasant moustache. Now you have to be very wary of men with moustaches. Stalin had a moustache. Hitler had a moustache. Saddam Hussein had a moustache. Tom Selleck had a moustache. That's right. That's right, Magnum. I know what you did to Higgins. Anyway, Stalin's grandson is on a mission. He, he says he wants to restore Stalin's good name. We only had crazy people in California. <laughs> and he, he, what he said to the court in Russia, he said that Stalin presided over a golden era of literature and the arts. Which is a bit like saying Hannibal Lecter presided over a golden era of fine cuisine. <laughs> it's like saying... It's like saying Michael Vick presided over a golden era of pet care. Do you see where I'm going with this? I'll, I'll say this about Stalin, though. He made a great subway station. I've been to Moscow. They've got spectacular...
spectacular subway stations. Because Stalin got rid of all the annoying things that clutter up the subway stations. You know, trash, graffiti, people. And... <laughs> And they've got these giant chandeliers in them and fancy staircases and painted walls and everything, all built by Stalin. <laughs> Must have been during his gay period or something like that. Hmm. I want the chandelier over here and... Uh... I think he, he was pretending to be Dracula for a while as well. Yes, I want everything over here. <laughs> Do you know what I like about Dracula? He's always pointing. You know what I mean? Like, oh, pointing, pointing. People must say about Dracula, you know, Mrs. Dracula's very nice, but he's a bit funny, always pointing. <laughs> Mrs. Dracula, there was a Bride of Dracula, it was a movie. Bride of Dracula, Mrs. Dracula, that would be her name. What do you think? Oh, does she keep her own name? <laughs> Uh, no, I'm keeping my own name, Madonna. Mrs. Dracula! <laughs> anyway, shut up. I'm not talking about Dracula, I'm talking about someone else. Stalin! I'm talking about Stalin. Do you know that Khrushchev, uh, hate, even Khrushchev hated Stalin. Now, Khrushchev took over from Stalin, and he was, he, he said that Stalin, and they, there's the stories about this, Stalin used to humiliate uh, Khrushchev by making him dance in front of the other politicians. <laughs> And then, when Stalin died, Khrushchev took over and he took his revenge over Stalin by exposing how evil Stalin was. But he did it in the only way he knew how. With dance. <laughs> <laughs> Guys! It's true, comrades, I got something to tell ya! Stalin was a, a pretty bad failure! It sounds better in Russian. <laughs> Krakowski, don't get... It doesn't. You know, Stalin's buried in the Kremlin. Uh, and, you know, the Kremlin wall, he, he, his grave is there. And it's always surrounded by Russians. And it's not because they love him, they just want to make sure he stays in it. <laughs> I think you get where I stand on the whole Stalin name thing. Anyway, we have to take a break. We'll be right back with more late night Stalin-related humor. Welcome back, everybody. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. Craig, you're thinking, are you wearing one opera glove? <laughs> no. A giraffe. <laughs> See how adorable this giraffe is? What I think is amazing is that people love giraffes, right? I'll just put this away because I, I have to tell you something that's rather unfortunate about giraffes. They are nature's greatest predators. <laughs> Give me a minute and I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. The, because they're not, you know, they don't run after animals and grab them and, no, they're vegetarians. But they're predators in an emotional sense. <laughs> They wander across the Serengeti Plains, looking at all the other ma animals and going, mm-hmm. <laughs> kind of looking down on them, you know? <laughs> Making them feel bad. Oh, antelope, are you? Good for you. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> I'm going to be hearing a lot from giraffe Americans, I'm sure. Uh, so tonight the, uh, the protest groups will be giraffe Americans and crystal meth addicts who <laughs> resent being compared to cockneys. And let me tell you this, if there are any cockney giraffes out there, <laughs> then I'd like you to invite you to be on the show, because I think I would be. I mean, a cockney giraffe that's got uh, an addiction problem, that's riveting television. You know, you know that Dr. Phil would be like, yeah, bring it on the show. The giraffe would be like, well, Dr. Phil, it was very... And, 
and you've got, you need to stop taking the critical man and enjoy the leaves. We'll be right back with the email, everybody. Welcome back to the big giraffe hating, crystal meth hating. <laughs> we don't hate giraffes here, we just, we just put them in their place. <laughs> I made myself laugh, all right. Now, this is from Dale in Edmonton in Canada. Uh, I've been, I've been there to Edmonton in Canada. They've got a big building in the middle of their, uh, in their town square there, it, uh, the library. It's right there in the center of town. But unfortunately, it's designed to look very like a prison. <laughs> very unfortunate. <laughs> Maybe it is a prison and they just like to read. <laughs> they like to read and keep quiet. <laughs> Shh. All right, I didn't know it was prison. Yes, it is, in fact, prison. <laughs> Dale in Edmonton says, Craig, how come you never say it's a great day for Canada, everyone, because some days are great for Canadians? <laughs> oh, really? Days are there. Maple syrup day. Uh, no, I can't. No, I, I love Canada, but here's my problem. I don't live there. I'm not Canadian. This is an American television show. I kind of am playing to the crowd. You know what I mean? <laughs> I love Canada. Understand. Let's, let's just be clear on this, because I know that everybody under the age of 30 that watches this show doesn't watch it on TV. I know that. I'm not stupid. <laughs> you watch it on the computer. I understand that. And you're watching it for free. That's all right. As long as you buy the products advertised, we'll all be good. But here's, <laughs> but here's the thing. Make no mistake, if you're watching this show in any other country in the world, this is a show made by an American for Americans. <laughs> Although, although we're quite happy to include other people like Canadians. <laughs> it's a great day for Canada, everyone. There, are you happy? Yeah. All right. This is from uh, Carol in Cleveland, Ohio, which is in the United States of America. And, uh, Carol says, Dear Craig, can you please tell my ex-boyfriend Evan that he's a jerk douche? It would mean a lot to me, thanks. <clears throat> Evan? <laughs> Evan, you are a jerk douche. <laughs> I don't know why that makes me so happy, but it kind of does. Do you know what I mean? Like, wouldn't it be great if you could just email a guy on TV and get him to tell your ex that he's a jerk and then you did it and it really happened? <laughs> is that really awesome? I love that. God, this is why I make the show in America, that's why. <laughs> uh, <sighs> all right. Uh, I don't know if we'll have time for the rest. Uh, this is from Justin and Alan in Texas. Bad Justin? Nearly as bad as Stalin? No, a different Justin. <laughs> Justin says, hey Craig, they are giving out mini Larry King bookmarks at the Dallas Love Field Airport. Are you planning a similar marketing strategy for your upcoming book launch? No. Publishers can't even put the acknowledgements in my book. <laughs> Free stuff? Are you kidding? All right, we're going to take a break. We'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. All right, all right, all right. You're like giraffes. The way you look down on me with your vegetarian scorn. Don't move 
the camera up, I'm being a giraffe. <laughs> you ruin the illusion. Why I even try sometimes. It's like everyone's against me except you. <laughs> Don't you dare do that to me. I'll cry. <laughs> My next guest is an actress, a very good actress, very, very good actress and very attractive, which helps in her profession. She's in a new film, Extract, which is in theatres on Friday. Take a look at this. Are you in a fusion? I don't really know what that is either. It's just, I, I was asking because I... I play fusion guitar. Just kids. Yeah, I play, I play fusion too, actually. I teach yeah. kids. I work really? Just, yeah, so what do you think? Um, well, do you guys maybe have it in other colors? You mean, uh, finishes. Yeah, yeah, finishes. Yeah, we have, yes. yeah, we yeah. have, uh, we have a sunburst. It's beautiful. Yeah, I just stocked one of those in the back. Yeah, I'll grab it. No, I can pick it up. You want to see it? I'll get it. Okay. No, I'll get it. Come to the case. case. We'll I'm going to get the case. Okay, yeah. thank you. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to get, I'm going to grab the case. Awesome. <laughs> You look very nice. Thank you. I'm uh, so excited to be here. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Do I sound like I'm lying? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Are you lying? No, I am. I'm, no, I'm not, because I've never done your show. No, you haven't. You're I was the wondering... only show I'm still left to do, so I was really stoked to do it. No, this is the only one you haven't yeah. done? Oh, well, thanks for getting us right up there with... Well, uh... <laughs> you never invited me. Oh, oh, au contraire. Oh, no, no, no. Listen, oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I did. <laughs> no. I did. I want, and I especially wanted you here tonight. Oh, thank you. Because this is jangly tights. <laughs> <laughs> These are fantastic. <laughs> These I are... <laughs> you don't understand. I've been making fun of this outfit all day long. Uh -huh. <laughs> Isn't the whole idea to find someone else to make fun of? Don't you? Do... No, I'm really good at making fun of myself. Oh. I've perfected that art. No, I know. It looks... Now, I'm looking at the thing, it looks really shiny. No, they, they, no, they look good. They look like you could leave very quickly. <laughs> no, you could just like, boom, be out here. It's good. And maybe if you, oh, if you no. were swimming in cold water, they'd be excellent. <laughs> Do you think they're like, they'll give me speed underwater? Like, could I be a faster swimmer because of that? I don't know how fast a swimmer are you just now. Not very fast. Well, you'll probably pick up a bit of speed with those babies right. on, yeah. Yeah, no, you'll be good. Hmm. Are you interested in doing triathlons, etc.? Do <laughs> no. Me neither. <laughs> I know. I, you and I, I should do it together then. What, we should do just a try triathlon together. Yeah, let's see how far we can get. No. What are the three things we have to do? Come, what are the? What do you have the, to do? The, you have to run, uh, swim, yeah, uh, swim, run, and hop. I think. Hop? Right, uh, yeah. I think I'm really good at hopping. Really? Yeah, I can. I'm like. Do you like favor any particular leg, or do you just are you ambidextrous? I'm I'm really good at both. Yeah, no, I'm really good at like potato sack races. Oh, nice. You didn't yeah, know that about yeah. me. No, you no, didn't. I I didn't. That wasn't on your Google page. No. I'm really good at those. Well, I tell you what was on your Google page though. On the uh, is that you're Russian? Are you really Russian? No, I lied. <laughs> really? Yeah. You lied on your Google I page. I thought it'd be more interesting this way. I like that. You don't sound Russian. No? And you don't have a moustache. So right there, I'm thinking. <laughs> Little do you know. You are Russian? Yes. You yes, really yes, are Russian? Yes. But like properly born in Russia and then... Uh, uh, Came here in 91. Wow. Yeah. So do you, you must have been very young though, but like yeah, two was, or something? I was just born. Yeah, yeah, I'm right. really young. <laughs> no. Uh, I was seven and a half. Oh, well that is quite young. You yeah. Know. Do you remember Russia? I do vaguely. I mean, I remember parts of it, but I'm not sure how much of it is really my memory and how much of it I made into a memory through, like, my parents' stories and stuff. I do that with movies. Do you create movies? <laughs> yeah, no. What happens is that I sometimes think it's my memory and I go, oh, wait, uh, that's a movie. Like, <laughs> no, like, sometimes I think, I, I was, yeah, I was a, a debutant and uh, during a... Uh, <laughs> During, during World the, War II? No, during the Civil War. Oh, okay. and, and, and then I think, oh, no, no, that's Gone with the Wind. That's Scarlett O'Hara. That wasn't me. That wasn't me. I sometimes, I get confused. Yeah, I understand. That happens, yeah. that happens at your age. And so, it does. <laughs> it does. No, it's true. No, be fair. Be fair. Don't owe her. <laughs> if we start owing the truth in this country. No, it's true. You made fun Great. of my pants. No, I, I am. I'm not defending myself.
myself, I'm getting old. I, the laws of physics apply to me as anyone else. I gray hair here, gray hair here. Really? Already? Here? Yeah, okay. Okay. Hi, Mom. <laughs> gray hair. I know. I have gray hair. Here. No, yes. I don't see any. Oh, it's, it's in there. Really? What do you do? Tuck it around uh, yeah. the other hair? It's or something? Underneath. I do. If you want, you want to look and find it, it's up know. here. It's in the crown. Oh, no. <laughs> do you really have great? Do I, I, do. I well, you, might, you don't have to die then. That's what actresses do. I, I, I like find them and, and pull them out. I know you're not supposed to do that. No, you, but. you can't. If you do that, you have to walk around three times. <laughs> Was that oh, wait, in a movie? No, that was in a movie. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was in a movie. Hey, listen, we have to take a break. Would, uh, you, would you hang around? Absolutely. Um, probably for another couple of hours? Sure. <laughs> uh, we'll we're right back. We're right back. So tonight we're uh, taking a good hard look at uh, the modern uh, Russia and the Soviet uh, collapse of the Soviet Union with Mila Kunis. Mila, you yes. are you are Russian. And, Correct. Uh, how, how's that then? <laughs> I was trying to be quite newsy there. What I was do you trying think? to come up with a really good answer. And I couldn't. I was trying to be very like correspondent like, and I just yeah. nothing came out. I was like, uh huh. That, that happens to me nearly every night here. Really? Yes. I try and say funny things, and then I end up just going <laughs> and everything, and that's. And then people just laugh anyway. Well, it's because they're high, that's why. <laughs> Look at they're all just giggling, now yeah. stop. Look at there's one giggle over there. It's yeah. very oh I see that's just covering her mouth. <laughs> Don't no, we'll have to pay them if we take shots of them. <laughs> Do you, uh, do you, uh, do you ever go, um, hang gliding? Why, are you inviting me out on a date? Yeah. <laughs> I have to check my schedule. That means no, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I've never been hang gliding anyway. No, I've never hang gone. Hang I, I know what you meant. Yeah. Um, no, I've never gone. I'm not very, like, adventurous. Although, I do want to go skydiving one day. That's quite adventurous. Yeah, I, I want to try it, though I'm really scared. I just, I don't understand why, how it's physically possible to jump out of a plane. To float in the air and then to maybe shoot you. I, it just scares me, but I want to I've do got it. a pilot's license. I could fly no. you up in the airplane. No. And then you can jump out. And then when I land, <laughs> no. if you live, you can tell me how it was. <laughs> do you know how awful of a flyer I am? Really? Are yeah, I'm a flyer? really bad flyer. But that's why I started to learn to fly, because I was terrified of flying. I heard that's what you're supposed to do. It's like teach you become a pilot and then right. you, uh, no. I, I don't why, why not? Why not? Why? Why, why? why won't I get a pilot? Well, there's yes. so many reasons for it. Where do I begin? Um, I I don't understand. Here's the truth. This might come out wrong, but under, okay. I there's two things I don't understand. Can you have a drink. All right. um, I I don't understand how. It, <laughs> I, okay, so yeah. I, I took physics and I did really well. And right. I get the logistics of how a plane stays up in the air. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, but I don't understand it. Like, I just, I don't understand. Well, then you, then, then you, then you didn't do really well, well in physics. <laughs> You're, living You're living a lie. You're living a lie, Mila. No, here's the thing. I understand that, you know, it, it's from the bottom of the wings that holds it up. I get it. But there are no strings. I, I, I don't. It's not, no, it shouldn't be up in the air. I, want, I like being on the ground. Like, I like I'm not walking. against being on the ground, right? But I'm not saying, oh, all you people that live on the ground, you're bastards, you know? <laughs> all I'm saying is, I, there's nothing wrong with, with flying. Yeah, but, no, but there is. It doesn't make sense. It just doesn't. I tell you what doesn't make sense to me. The Jonas Brothers don't make sense. <laughs> no. No. I'll tell you. I'll tell you why I say this because a lot of the a lot of the kids watch me for tips. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, <laughs> I make myself laugh at the idea of that. Hey, come on, Craig's on. Let's watch him for tips <laughs> on how to be a middle-aged Scottish guy. But the uh, no, I, 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 you know, people say, well, the Jonas Brothers, it's just like the monkeys or something like that. But it's not because the monkeys were okay. <laughs> the monkeys. Somebody. Is I, that really true? Yeah, somebody does. I, now I feel really left out. So you got I, a cup over there. But that's not, I don't, it's not a snake. So 
Okay. Well, this isn't a snake. It's just ceramics fashioned into a, kind of to look like next a snake. Next time I'm coming, I'm bringing snake. my own cup. <laughs> I think we might have a. a might, do we have an extra snake cup lying around? Oh, we don't. We give it away, do we? I'm going to make myself a cup at Color Me Mine do, and bring it. You can't say Color Me Mine here. That Why? would be advertising Color oh, Me Mine. Oh, I won't make it at Color Me Mine. I'll make it at a place that is like Color Me Mine. <laughs> Oh, that's so lame. Yeah. Do you enjoy? Do you enjoy ceramics? Is that your idea? I of do. Do you really? I do. I actually craft ceramics. Yeah. Oh right, good. Yeah, I am. I have a craft room. I do. I love doing things. I'm not necessarily good at everything I do, but I have a sewing machine and I taught myself how to sew. Oh, so I made kitchen curtains. Wow. Yeah. And then uh, I made a dress. And then I, uh, out of the same material as the kitchen curtains. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, that's okay. That's the, okay. The material was on sale, so it was, it was just a lot of it. Well, do you like the Project Runway? Project okay. Runway? We, yes, yes. I, I love Hold on, should we talk about this? What? I love Project Runway. Girl, you found a home because <laughs> I love Project okay. Runway. I'm not kidding, I do. Did you watch the All Stars? No. Oh my gosh. No, I watched that. I've started the watching new season. the, the yeah. new season. There was yeah. one episode, it was like an All Stars episode where they got back all like the favorites. You, Excuse me a second. Yes, what Sorry. Uh, Joe, uh, can you? Can <gasps> look, there you go. We got a present for you right there. Right, right, right. Oh! Right. Thank you. There you are. Oh, I love there it. There you are. Welcome, welcome to the West, my Soviet Thanks. friend. His nurse, come Why on. Why is mine so little? Yeah, well, you know, it's, uh, you can't have too many of these lying around. <laughs> that was specially made for me. Yeah, yours looks evil, mine looks nice and petite. <laughs> Just saying. All right, so Project Runway, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So do you, it started, they've started the new season in Los Angeles. Yeah. Which I actually, I thought, oh, I'm a bit concerned, but no. It's, it's not bad. It's good. It's do good. you want to hear a funny story about, uh, okay, so. It'll stick out in this show, but try it. <laughs> nerded out on anybody like like I've met really impressive people and I was saying I've been very lucky with the people I've met and I've, I've always played it really cool I was in New York a couple years ago uh, at a small restaurant and Daniel Daniel Vosovic was there who didn't win Project Runway but should have yeah you know that was like two seasons ago yes right? yeah, yeah, yeah so he was a couple tables away from me and I was like oh my god oh my god oh my I got so excited I was like I'm gonna play it cool it's no big deal so I finished eating and I'm about to leave and then something came over me and I attacked him. I all of a sudden, like, I was standing there and I turned around. I was like, <gasps> across the restaurant in New York City, he was like, oh my God, you should have won. And I started yelling at him. And he was so were you, scared. Uh, were you a little, uh... No. Oh, come on, a little no, bit, a little I, bit. I, I was sober is the sad part. I mean, I was, it's like, it was afternoon. I was sober. I, well, you, you know, you famously enjoy a drink of the afternoon. Everybody knows that. Let's not talk about that. Yeah, all right, yeah. yeah. No, I was so, I just. I know, I, I get very, so you know why I, why I think that works and other reality shows don't work for me? Because Project Runway is about talent. It's about talent. I, I agree with you. Skill. Yeah. It's not about how many babies can you have in a half yes. hour. It's about, <laughs> it's about, it's about a real, yeah, a real thing, you know. Do you watch Top Chef? I've, I've seen Top Chef. I, I love the trouble, Top the Chef. trouble is with the Top Chef shows and the, and the cooking shows for me is I watch them, I get hungry, I eat. And I do. But it's a really, it's like really great. You watch it and then you have dinner. It's like satisfying and fulfilling. No, no, no. But they, I can't do that because Why? I, because I'll have dinner and then watch TV and then have another dinner. <laughs> No, I get, I get, I am very, I have a very addictive personality, very suggestive. Yeah. You know? Really, yeah. <laughs> I think we're doing pretty well, actually, aren't we? I think so. We're doing all right. So you've got your crafting. Yeah. And I sew. Got, sewing and sew, crafting. Sewing and yes. crafting. It's very nice. You're a very girly girl, then. I have girly tendencies. I'm right. very much a tomboy, but I'm still, you know, a girly girl, yeah. Right. What, what? Oh, we have to talk about the movie. Oh, the movie. The oh, movie yeah. looks very interesting, doesn't it? Extract. That, that thing. That, so what's, what's going on in the movie then, Mila? <laughs> the movie's really funny, I have to say. Is it? No, yeah, I believe it you. You're no, no, in no. it. You're very good. You made thank me laugh you, in the you. Sarah Marshall movie and the Sunday Show stuff. You're very, Thank very you, thank talented. you. I, I, I actually, I thought the movie was great. I love my judge and I was a huge fan of Office Space. And right. This is very much well, my the judge. He did the King of yeah. the Hill. Yes, it's a, That's it's a, yeah, King of the Hill, Beavis and Butthead, Office Space, Idiocracy, and it's in the vein of Office Space. Really, really funny movie. You might relate. It's about a middle-aged man going. Hey, through hey, hey, crisis. hey! <laughs> all right, all right, yeah, a middle-aged man that what? Going through like a midlife crisis. A cool, yeah, you know, hmm. early midlife crisis. No, early, I, early. I, I, I have mine. 
couple of times a month, really. I mean. I, it's an odd thing. You're ter still terribly young, but it's funny. You, you get older and you start doing really mad things. And you start to realise that by the time you're... You know old guys in, in the supermarket that say really dirty and rude things to the checkout girls? Yeah. I'm going to be one of those guys. Yeah. Because I'm starting to knock out. I'm like... Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Already? Yeah. I'm 47. I'm like... Hey, look at you. Yeah, no. It's weird. It starts early. Yeah, you with know me it has, anyway. If, as long as you're aware, you're fine. Really? You yeah, think so? And, I mean, yeah. It's you can say that even to the arresting officer? Sure. Just like, I was aware, sir. I'm sorry. Yeah. 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 Well, well, listen, uh, we're out of time. Oh, so, really? Yeah, yeah. Uh, not only that, I've got some apologies to make to the oh, second yeah. guest as well. <laughs> uh, uh, so, uh, but here's what I think we should do. Okay. Um, I think you should come back. Okay. Um, Tomorrow? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, all right, yeah. Okay. Uh, as long as you don't mind actually doing the show. Yeah. Well, you do the show, I'll take the night off, and... Uh, I'll just do, like, some skits Run out, and stuff. have a puppet go, oh, cheeky monkeys, nobody will notice. Yeah, but do I have to have an accent? No, you don't need an no accent. No accent, then I we'll can just, just do we'll it. make one up. Okay, you know, yeah. uh, I'll just, okay. Well, you're Russian, do that one. I'll just do a really bad Russian accent. Do, do you... Do, huh? Do you speak Russian? Yes. Oichim Krashiva. Oh, thank you. Oh, uh, yeah. Daddy knows how he's working. <laughs> Mila Kunis, good night, everyone. What did we learn on the show tonight, Greg? No pretend animals were hurt in that. Uh, <laughs> Look, um, I don't know where to start with this, so um, let me just start. I would uh, like to apologize to Jason Ritter, uh, who was meant to be the second guest uh, tonight, and also last night. <laughs> don't you boo me. Do not boo me. <laughs> All right, boo me. I deserve it. Here's a problem. I, I got, I got, last night I got talking to Quentin Tarantino, chatty chat chat, oh my movie, uh, and then, and then, tonight I got, I got chatting to Mila Kunis, uh, Mila Kunis, chatty chat chat, oh, 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 oh chatty chat chat. <laughs> and then, but luckily, Jason, who was here two nights ago, and also tonight, has agreed to come back tomorrow night to be on the show. Which is lucky because I'll be wearing this tie tomorrow night again in order. You know, we could have solved this problem by two nights ago recording the interview with Jason and then, oh wait. <laughs> anyway, um, so my apologies to, uh, to Jason. <laughs> Sorry. I feel very, very bad. Not as bad as Stalin. <laughs> when Stalin bounced you, you didn't come back tomorrow night. <laughs> With me, it's very temporary. And you'll be back tomorrow night. I'm terribly sorry. And the muffin basket is on the way to your house. And when I say muffin basket, I mean, of course, nothing. <laughs> Which is what we can afford on our budget. <laughs> All right. Uh, we'll, tomorrow, join us tomorrow night with the big Jason Ritter show, everybody. We'll be, we'll be right back.